creepy differences between a Chaos and a Pro in the rear is it's got a different rail profile. On a, on a Chaos, the tip of the rail, the front tip of the rail, is actually a, a little steeper of an angle, okay? And then also, longer limiter strap and then a longer front track shock. So what that does is that puts more pressure on the front of the, of the track and takes off the pressure of the ski. So right away, the first thing that you will see or feel when you ride the sled is just how much easier it is to get up on edge, okay? And for those of you who don't know what edge is, uh, anyone know what, not know what edge is? Okay, so uh, three, it takes three things to get up on edge, uh, which is 80% of the day that when we ride in the mountains, this is what you're doing all the time, okay? So we counter steer, we wrong foot forward, and then we give it some gas to pull it up on edge. This is what we spend 80% of our time in this position riding in the mountains, okay? Um, one, of the, one of the key things that, that makes chaos so fun is that it's easier to do that. Because if you think about how many times you do that throughout the day when riding out west, it's literally hundreds. And so anytime you can decrease the effort doing something like that, when we're in the hole, deep dark hole at 4 o'clock, you're going to be a little fresher than your buddies, okay? So, but but there's a there's a fine balance there. So we took some some ski pressure or weight off of the front end, okay? So what would that do? Maybe a little, little ski lift, right? A little bit, a little bit of ski lift. So no, there's there, the reason I say there's a fine balance there is because if you have too much ski lift, that affects the ability to go uphill. If you want to just wheelie all around, there's another guy over there that goes wheelie all over the place, okay? But we like going up to the top of the hill. You high five me at the top, okay? So um, that's that's the one thing that still makes chaos on RMK, is the ability to not only be more playful in the front, but also to be able to get up back up on top of the snow and still go forward. We don't, I know wheelies are cool and they make for great YouTube fan videos, but again, we want to go up. We want you to be able to get out of the snow. And that's, that's what's so magical about the chaos. And to be honest, one of the big concerns that I had when I heard about chaos and or rode it for the first time, was it going to just be a mess in the trees? Was I going to be able to not do what I like to do? And so, um, what, what was really enjoyable for me is getting people actually on the chaos last year. And for, you know, we have, for, for the longest time, we've had, we've had one tool in the toolbox, and that's been the Pro RMK for mountain riding. That's what's really exciting, is now we have another tool that can be used for, to, to specialize in, in what you want to be as a rider, or your agenda on the mountain. And so we had a lot of people, to be honest, that were on a pro arm pay that necessarily maybe didn't belong on a pro arm pay. I think the chaos fits the build for a lot more people, especially, and I made a very aggressive statement last year. In my opinion, I thought 80 to 70 to 80% of the mountain riders out there would actually belong on a chaos versus a pro. And that's, I was like, man, I hope I don't eat my words there. But the reason I say that is because the, so the 20 percenters, right? I, I, I'm a pro RMK guy. I'm a 163. I need to see these down, and I am going up. I like the stability in the more crazy terrain. But 80% of the riders out there, because I get to see them every day with what I do. If you guys don't know what I do, I like to take people out and teach them how to ride. Okay? So that, that, that less steep terrain, the more terrain that, again, 80% of the people ride, that's where the chaos is so much getting fun. Less effort. Uh, and then easier to easier to get up on it, okay? And it's crazy, even even right here in this gravel at Hayden, if you counter steer and pull this sled over, and you counter steer and pull that sled over, you can feel the difference right away. And it's because we have this less pressure up top, okay? So, um, the other the other thing that separates a Chaos versus a Pro is the shock package. So, uh, with the Walker Evans Velocity Series, they did a really good job of coming with a top-notch premium package on the shocks. And I'm a big, if you guys follow me on all my Fox stuff and everything, the big thing I always talk about is adjustability. Because as we ride throughout the season, the conditions in December and April are quite a bit different. So it's, it makes a lot of sense to be able to have adjustability built into our suspension for that. And not only throughout the season, but also throughout the day. 
right? So, like for, for my day, especially six mile bumpy trail in, and then I get to the powder. Well, on the trail going in, I like my stuff really soft to handle the bumps. But if it's a super deep day, if your suspension is set all the way soft, it's very easy to override your sled and chase your sled around, okay? So with the ability of just quick clickers on both the rear suspension and the front suspension, it's a way to, again, not have any excuse, excuses why you got stuck, okay? So that, that was another really good thing that the Chaos brought to the brought to the table is in the good suspension package, something that we've been needing for, for a while. Um, so those are those are the big differences. The, uh, Configuration-wise as well, you can get a Chaos and a 3 inch with a tin case or a 2.6 with a belt drive, so, so that's really cool. Um, the, the track length being a 155, again, for the Chaos, just reiterating the point that this sled was designed to be easier to ride more and more weight. Alright, um, I wanted to take just a quick minute for anybody have questions about... Yeah, go ahead, Al. What, uh, what's the benefits of the Pro? Yeah, perfect. What's the benefits of the Pro? Okay, so let's talk about what may, what, so I talked about obviously the features and benefits of the Chaos. So, well, if you're t telling me the Chaos is so good, why would I buy a Pro, right? That's what I got. I order. Yeah, exactly. So, so for me, I'm, I'm, I'm a Pro customer, okay? So what, what the Pro does obviously better would be it is more stable and more technical terrain. Okay, so cutting across the side hill on a Chaos, the sled has a, a lighter, happier feel of the front end wanting to you kind of go up a little bit, right? So you have to ride it a little different there, but again, it's easy to get up. Um, that's what a Pro does incredibly well, is it's very stable, very consistent, uh, and, and you can ride it at a more controlled more, but it's more controlled going across the side of the hill because you have left left one and you don't go Okay. Also, a pro RMK has a shallower approach angle on the track. Okay, allowing the sled to get up on top of the snow quicker and faster. But don't, for all you guys in the chaos who said, "Oh man, I was worried about that stretching," I was too. Okay. Was it just going to dig holes all over the place? And the chaos. Is, is not as good as getting up in the snow as a pro, but it would be, right? There, we, there's a, there's a trade-off. There's a, there's, you have to make sure that you, uh, that you understand that, okay? Chaos is lifting the speed before it gets up. A pro arm can go So, especially if you're on our 55 or 63. 63, so the 63 is the track, right? That 63 is built for being able to creep around, beat on edge, nice and slow and in control. Having to ride the sled less aggressive. For me, I can still take it this sled where I can take my 55 Pro, but I, in, in the steep stuff, I had to be more aggressive and more mindful that it wanted to be a little more happy in the fruit. But, for, again, for the 80%, that's where this sled shines and is a lot of dang fun. My, my favorite part was when I, and I, I missed, I skipped this part of the story. When I got people who were riding a Pro, and I got them on a chaos. It literally took them leaving me doing two turns. They stop, look back at me, and say, Holy cow, it was that easy, right? So much less effort on, on the front. The good, and so, one of the things, too, is uh, when we talk about adjustability, there's adjustability in the shock package to whether what, if you want it to either really more or really less. So, here, that, that's another beauty of, the, of what this sled is able to do is you have the adjustability to set the front end down a little bit more or If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, like it and then subscribe to our page for more great content from Snowtracks TV.